Hey everyone, Eat Sleep here from the Techies, and today I have a tutorial in Corel Draw, and we're gonna be making a button because buttons are awesome. And uh, one cool thing about graphic programs, as I'm sure you know, is that um, buttons buttons are there. Anyways, um, I think we're gonna make a circular button just because uh, I made a rectangular one in the Paint.net one. So we're going to go with circles, because circles. So what we're going to do first is we're going to grab our circle tool, because we're making a circular button. If you're doing a different shape, then you use that shape instead of a circle. So we're going to go ahead and make our circle there, and we're going to fill it with some color. Let's go with um, this color. And make it a little larger. There we go. And so we have our basic color that it's going to be the button. Then we're going to hold shift, and click it, and make a tiny little dot. Oops. First, you want to copy the uh, circle you have, and then hit shift, and make a dot. Dang it. Okay, there we go. And we're going to change the color to a slightly lighter blue. And we're going to go ahead and drag it on down to the bottom. This is going to be our glow area. What we're going to do is we're going to take our blend tool and roughly the center of the circle, so like right here, drag it on down, and we have our uh, glow. And if you go over here and right-click the, uh, the little X, where if you just normally clicked it, if you uh, left-clicked it, it would take all the color out and just make it a... Um, a transparent um, solid so if you right click it what it'll do is it'll take the outlines out however what you can see is you can see like the little the little ripples here so to change that what you have to do is you have to change your uh, step size so let's go with like 75 and that's that does a good job at uh, getting rid of those nasty circles if you're using a uh, smaller circles or larger circles you might have to use a different step size it all really depends on what you're doing and of course you can always move your um, the glow where you want it. If you want it up top, put it up top. You know, I just put it up on the bottom to um, do things. So the next thing we need to do is, um, uh, I didn't actually know this before, but this is the uh, layers. If you don't have this, it's under Object Manager. It's like Photoshop, you can just select the layer. And um, it's uh, really helpful because I was looking for the uh, the bottom layer, which is our big darker blue color and if we control V make another copy of that and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make like the kind of border and the glossy part of the uh, button so if again we shift and we make it smaller like that again this all depends on how um, how thick you want your border to be I don't really like thick borders on my buttons so um, as weird as that is but um so I just made a thin border around the uh, button. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and convert this to the curves. Um, this should be pretty self-explanatory converting to curves. And what you can do now is you can um, basically move around your uh, reflection to wherever you want it. You can have it to the side. The side's kind of weird. Usually, usually they go with uh, people go with moving the bottom up, or you move the uh, the top down. Either one. Whatever works for you, you know. Um, so, so we have this now, and uh, all we have to do is make it transparent. So if we go over to where our blend tool was, and just drag it on down, and let's move this over a little bit. And again, you can do whatever kind of transparency you want. Maybe move it out a little bit, like that, and move the slider down. Oh, that's too much. So um, I think that looks pretty good. We have a nice little border. The The next step you could actually do is you could actually make the border and you could put some like reflection or glossiness in that border, which is what uh, Kremlin did in his Inkscape buttons tutorial. So uh, Techies is all about buttons and Vista buttons and such. So uh, anyways, that's pretty much it. Pretty simple. Again, um, you can uh, if you didn't want this kind of ovally shape here, you could just take a uh, circle do a circle, fill it white, and then again do the transparency that we did, and you'll get the same effect if you want a, um, a stronger, sharper 
uh, gloss. So um, again, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you for watching. This has been uh, Eat Sleep from the Tech. Be sure to check out the Techies website for great game and software reviews, as well as a database of all Techies videos. Also, please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something that interests you.